Spears Computer World here where they look at the Jet Elements plugin. Let's get right into it. So, if you have Elementor free installed, you'll have access to the basic as well as the general modules. If you have the pro version, you'll have access to, you know, all of this that you see on my screen. And then if you installed the Jet Elements, this is what you'll get. Now, one of the differences that really stick out between the two is not much, but if you look at, let's see, the Pro version offers, I think, the Facebook, if I can get to it. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, the Facebook button, the Facebook comments, Facebook embed, Facebook page, and then a template. You also have, let's see, the form and login. Other than that, everything else is kind of similar here. Uh, there isn't a, let's see, a share. You don't have that as well. But you do have enough with Jet Element plugins if you decide not to go the pro route. I recommend going the pro route and then adding um, the Jet Elements plugin in addition. Because the Jet Elements plugin sometimes gets features first that um, Elemental Pro will implement at a later time. So sometimes it's always good to have more than one set of tools. So let me show you what you have access to as far as the library is concerned. If you have your own set of templates, you know, they'll be on this tab. Any that you may have downloaded from the internet provided by some Elementor pros or gurus who put out free templates, you'll go there. But if you fancy any pages, if you have the pro version, you'll be able to differentiate between free and pro by the little tag you see pro here. What I want to do is go down to the bottom here and show you the Jet Element templates. So it starts here and ends here. So I anticipate more to be added at a future time, but if you need any inspiration, this is a good place to start. Same thing with the blocks here. Blocks have free and pro versions. One thing you'll want to do again is scroll down to the bottom. Once you kind of get past, let's see here, these were where the jet element blocks start. And you have quite a few blocks that you can choose from. They're well designed. They're nice. And you can customize them and edit them to your ability to whatever you want it to, you know, perform for you, for your client site, for your site. So you have an, a lot of options here is what I'm telling you. So you, if you aren't familiar with Elementor, I'll just kind of show you the beauty of Elementor is that you can dr drop and drag these modules into whatever place that you want. Now, one thing that I will do here is I'm going to change this to a blank canvas. And the reason you want to do a blank canvas is because it erases all the characteristics of the default template. So it gives you all the access you need to start from a clean slate. So let's kind of recap. So what's what are some of the things that I like? Number one, I like the price point. It's $15 to purchase the Jet Elements plugin. You can get that from Template Monster. I'll have a link in the description. It's great for people who only can afford right now the Elementor free version. There are other ways to add, you know, forms. There are other plugins to use if you want to style your blog. There are other plugins to even, um, you know, style your header. Those free options are out there as well. So you can kind of piece together your own kind of pro version and only spend $15 in the process of doing so. So I do like that in that regard. As I showed you earlier, it does seem like that the only difference between, well, the only difference between the two products of the pro version versus Jet Elements plugin is that you have the forms, the single post, uh, the Facebook button, Facebook comments, Facebook embed, things like that. So if you don't have to have those things, you pretty much have similar things. Now, 
you do kind of have your share you do have your share options with the Elementor Pro version but again there are plugins for that so I would definitely recommend this plugin I love using it I love using it to give me inspiration as far as you know pages with blocks and so if you're in the market for a um, you know something that's inexpensive to save on your budget until you can kind of build your clientele up and get more money then this plugin is for you thank you for tuning in